Now, six suspected supporters of a controversial Indonesian Islamic cleric have been killed in a clash with police. The cleric, Rizik Shihab, is under investigation for violating COVID-19 protocols after large crowds gathered to celebrate his return from self-exile in Saudi Arabia. Chani Vavani joining us live now. Chani, uh, are there further details on uh, what's led to this clash? Well, police in a statement said that they were pursuing a vehicle on the highway suspected of carrying supporters of Firebrand Cleric and Islamic Defenders Front or FPI leader Rizik Shihab. And that vehicle uh, made intentional contact with the police car after and the passengers suspected uh, uh, supporters brandished weapons such as guns, a sword and machetes. And this then led police to believe that their lives were at risk and thus a shootout ensued. Now, six of the suspected supporters were killed in the clash. Four others are on the run and are being tracked down by officers. Uh, Chani, given how events unfolded as you described them, will this escalate tensions then between the police and the clerics' hardline groups? Well, that is certainly likely. Now, this appears to be the first uh, fatal incident involving alleged FPI members and police since Rizik Shihab's return to Indonesia from self-imposed exile in Saudi Arabia. Tensions have been high also since his return, uh, which involved a string of COVID-19 health protocol violations. And police have said that the clash can be traced back to when they began uh, to investigate Rizik for failing to appear for a second summoning in connection with these protocol violations. Police say that they were attempting to track down uh, those responsible for a message calling supporters of Rizik to congregate at the police station uh, for the investigation process. And in light of this latest incident, police have advised Rizik and his supporters uh, not to obstruct investigation, uh, the investigation process, or else they risk criminal procedures against them. Now, the Islamic Defenders Front, meanwhile, has issued a statement disputing the sequence of events and events itself. They have instead said that a convoy of vehicles carrying uh, Rizik and his family, including his young grandchild, was ambushed uh, and six guards were kidnapped. And the statement also said that Rizik's uh, current whereabouts uh, have not been disclosed for his safety. Thank you, Chandni Bhavani reporting from Jakarta.